To set up voicemail in the Z Fold 6, each carrier is slightly different, but I'll show you the general process. So start by opening the phone app, then tap the triple dots at the top right, then select settings. We will then scroll all the way down until we see the voicemail option. Now this voicemail number here is the number that you need to call for voicemail. Sometimes this isn't set up correctly. So if you need to find out your number, each carrier is different. So you go into your browser, you search up your carrier name, then voicemail, then number, and it will show you the number you need to call for voicemail. So once we have that, we can call that number in here, option one. Option two, let's check if we have visual voicemail. So if you're in the United States, there's this thing called visual voicemail. Typically, you need to open the Play Store and search for your carrier name, then visual voicemail, and it will show your visual voicemail app. In the UK, where I'm from, no carrier has this feature. Some carriers pre-install a visual voicemail app. So if we swipe up to the app drawer, then we search for visual voicemail. If your carrier has that app, it will be pre-installed and you can open it up and manage voicemail there. If we don't have visual voicemail, then we have to call voicemail and then do the settings manually. Now with each carrier, again, it's different, but I'll show you the general gist. So you need to Google here, either change voicemail uh, password, then the carrier, and it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. If you want to change the greeting you hear, so you know they call you, they get put to voicemail and it has a little message from you, then you search change greeting voicemail free, or you know the carrier name there, and it will give you step by step instructions. Anything you're thinking about doing, you put in the request, then you put in your carrier into Google, and it'll give you step by step instructions from your carrier directly, and then you would you know, follow those instructions. So hopefully this video helps.